Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. The new version 2.9.9 of the My Linux for Work dot files for Hyperland is now available for you to download. And it's super easy with the new dot files installer. The app will guide you through the whole installation process, installing the dependencies, create a backup of your system if needed, and installing then the configuration of the dot files easily. The dot files are chipped with setup scripts for Arch Linux, for Fedora-based distributions and for OpenSUSE. And this setup script will be automatically triggered by the dot .files installer. And the new version comes with several new features. With a blurred background in Waybar that you can switch on and switch off, and a display zoom feature where you can focus on selected areas of your screen, full font awesome 7 support, and the possibility to enable the game mode permanently on your system. So with every boot up, the game mode will be activated automatically. And if you like the new dot files, if you like that video, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up to support the next video. All right, with that, let's jump in. Welcome to the latest version of the My News Work dot files for Hyperland, the version 2.9.9. This is the welcome app that opens automatically when you launch the dot files. And here on top, you can toggle that auto start feature if you don't need it. But as always, you can find here the direct links to the My Linux for Work apps, some system settings like keyboard configuration, monitor variations, and so on. And also important to change the shell from bash to CSH or back and a link to update your system. On the right side in the main menu here, you have access to all uh, web resources in the internet, for example, the MyLinksWord.Files homepage. So when you click here, the homepage of the MyLinksWord.Files will be opened in Firefox if this is your default browser. And when you hover here about the latest version number and click on change log, you will guide it to the GitHub repository and the change log. And here you see all the new features of the latest version of the dot files. The first one is that the legacy installer has been removed completely from the folders of the project. So when you click here on code, you see that it's very lean now, yeah, because um, the complete folder that holds hundreds of files of the uh, former installation script has been removed because the new way to install the dot files is the dot files installer. Yeah, the dot files installer is the app that you can download from uh, FlatHub, install it, and then just copy and paste one of these both pass URLs into the dot files installer, one for the stable release and the other for the rolling release. And this is the method to install all of the My Linux for Work dot files um, in the future to use the new dot files installer. But of course, to every dot files developer outside, you can use the dot file installer as well. Yeah. So if you have dot files that you want to share, you can use the dot files installer to, to provide a graphical installation user interface for your dot files. Okay, so this is the new folder structure and you can find the dot files or the configuration in the folder dot files. Yeah, so here you can see this is uh, follows the structure of your home directory and here the config folder with all the configurations of the modules of the apps that I use for these dot files. The next one is that Font Awesome just released a new version uh, seven, um, and that brings a lot of changes. But the new um, dot files um, are supporting now the new Font Awesome 7 version, and um, it makes sure that all the icons that you see here on Weber are working correctly. But it's downwards compatible, so if still uh, Font Awesome 7 is not available for your system, um, it also works with, dot, uh, with Font Awesome version 6. So the other big change that really f speed up the installation process um, and update process that I have completely rewrite the setup script that is delivered um, that can be executed through the dot files installer. And um, you can find now all the files here. 
So it, it includes support for Arch for Fedora and OpenSUSE. And this script will be automatically offered when you start the installation with the dot files installer. So no other way to in, um, install the um, dot files needed. Just use the dot files installer. And you can find the dependencies on the home page in get started and here dependencies and this is what will be installed when you run the setup script um, and um, this is these are the dependencies that you can install manually if you're not using arch linux fedora or uh, OpenSUSE. So if you, for example, use NixOS, you can still install the dot .files with the dot .files installer, but you have to make sure that these dependencies are installed upfront. The next is what you see here on top, that Weber has now a blurred background. Yeah, you see it here very well with that, um, uh, with that wallpaper and the blur effect comes directly from Hyperland. So it's the Hyperland setup and if you don't like it, you can disable it. Yeah, that's also um, straightforward. You do this by open here uh, the settings app, go to decoration variations and set this to no blur. And you see now the blur effect is gone completely. Let's change the wallpaper. So no blur effect, you know this. And when you go back to default, the blur is back and you have a bit higher contrast on the menu items and a bit clearer separation between um, the waybar and the overall content. Let's switch it again and here you see what I mean. I think it looks also very modern, but as I said, if you don't like it, you can disable it. Let me show you another theme. For example, if you're using a small screen resolution and it's really very lean and minimal on at the top, yeah, without uh, losing space. So this is also, I think, a very good alternative for you if you have a small screen resolution. Let's see what's next. This is also a nice feature that comes from a user directly shared this uh, via a GitHub issue. And what you can now do is to hold super key shift and turn the mouse wheel. You can zoom in and turn the mouse wheel back. It zooms out again. Yeah. Again, zoom in, zoom out. It's a nice feature. And there's also another key binding. Let's zoom in again with super key shift set. You can immediately jump back to the initial screen resolution. So a nice feature if you want to focus on something or want to share something um, in a screencast. You know, I have collected a huge wallpaper bank and in the welcome app, you can find now here a direct link to the wallpaper repository, yeah, which is here also on GitHub. So all the wallpapers available for you, you can download it to any folder. Yeah, um, you can clone it to any folder on your system and then you can just change the folder in uh, Waypaper. Here you have the folder button and then you can just select the new folder. Yeah and then you have access to your personal uh, wallpaper bank or to my collection. This is up to you. And the last change is the support for game mode. You know, you can toggle the game mode when the system is already running here with that switch, with that switch, but there's also now a different way to do this and make it permanently. Also, if you restart the system is again through the settings app because the setting app now includes in appearance variations for game mode. For example, animation variations, you can switch it off by going to disabled, decoration variations, selecting game mode, and the same for the window variations. Here is also, move it a bit up, a game mode configuration. And now you see that the animations are gone, the gaps are gone, um, and it's optimized for speed. And you can then also toggle the dock. You can toggle Weber, and now you are here on full screen without any um, features that cost resources on your system. So I bring back the waybar and you can switch it back by selecting default 
and here default and again default and you get back the default configuration for the animation decoration and the window variations. Here we are. Yeah, and that's it. These are the core new features of the MyLinux for Work.Files. files. You can find all information on the homepage of the MyLinux for Dot files. Here you can see how to install it, how to migrate the dot files from the legacy installation script to the new dot files installer. Again, the dependencies, how to update, which is straightforward with the new dot files installer. Configuration, how to preserve your configs and customizations, also supported by the dot files installer. How to use it on other distros, monitor setup. You know, you can use here monitor variation or you can install NW new displays to have a graphical interface to set up your monitor configuration, um, information about Hyperland and NVIDIA, the usage, how to launch Hyperland, key binding screenshots, the game mode, and to get more wallpapers. And here a dedicated section, how you can customize the files to your personal needs. And that's it. This is the new version 2.9.9 of the files for Hyperland. As said, you can find all information about the configuration on the files homepage. You can find all links in the description below. And with that, see you next time.